Hey, we got Drew's views here back for a little Anna Monday where I react to an anime on Monday. And today I'm doing Steins Gate episode eight, which is called Chaos Theory Homo. Sorry, let me t let me try that one more time. Chaos Theory Homeostasis Part One. So, as usual, quite an involved title here. This one says. First one that says part one I, that I recall. Last time on SG, Hoin Kyoma discovered he was the savior of the world, or at least that's what Tidor says he needs to be. Possibly a little confusion I had cleared up for me by a couple of people in the comments section. So I wasn't clear last time whether how, you know, um, Okarin was communicating with Tidor, it was going for the future because. Tidor said in his future they weren't able to send emails back in time or whatever they call them, D-mails here that they came up with, but apparently Tidor is in 2010 year where the show's taking place, came back, time traveled back from 36. So that settles that then, I guess. But uh, I don't know if we'll actually see Tidor in person in the show here or Ogren's just gonna text him, email him, whatever, but he said he could be the savior because Ogren actually retains memories from the previous timelines, when even when things get split, so which apparently Titor and no one else is able to do. So last time they tested it, and it led to this by uh, winning the lottery, or they didn't actually win it because uh, Samurai. Uh, I got a li another list of all the characters too, but uh, I think uh, Luca uh, didn't screwed up the message from Elkarin that said, "But these are the numbers." So he had the right numbers, obviously, because he was in the present, seeing what they were got one off so they didn't win or whatever, but it proved that the thing works, And but Ogren's the only one who remembers, no one else does. But in the in the new timeline, Dr. Pepper was on the shelves when it wasn't before, so that's the big difference we saw, other than, of course, Ogren having his mind blown here that he remembers, no one else does. So we gotta get more into it this time. There's some other stuff with Kirusu chan downstairs, um, something about she knows something about brainwashing or something. She was looking in his eyes for a chip or something like that. Um, so maybe we'll get more about that. And just keep peeling these layers off here. And uh, let's let's do it. Episode eight. There it is again, our savior. The Messiah. What was that? That was the previous timeline. Worldline, I guess that's the term they're using for it. He's the Messiah. Steiner. Is it something with Stein's gate? Which we still don't know what that means. Unless he still has screwed it up somehow. Mm -hmm. What that is? What about the stuff with your dad or whatever? <laughs> Shining finger. Is she in the in the room with them? <laughs> Mr. Brown. We 
No, she's not a fan of Makasa. There's Essa. I mean, the thing about this is they they always take for granted that themselves in the past or whatever is going to get a message and just go with it, even if it's from them or whatever. It doesn't seem foolproof. He wants to dress like a regular girl, not a, a cat girl. Then I can remember. Because this time he didn't see the latter thing at all, so I didn't need to make up for it, I guess. So the great scene where he goes to shake her hand initially at Darrow and she walks away didn't happen. <laughs> Too bad. Good watermelon harvest. I still don't understand why they call these emails rather than texts, or if they actually are supposed to be emails, what's the deal with that? That could be a, a gif right there. What are these two up to? Oh, so now in this world line, he does want to try on that? Hmm. This might be some reference I don't get. Okay, so that didn't change in the world line then. I don't think you can change that just by sending a message to yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, Macus didn't realize. That's sexist, Makasa. <laughs> Yeah, really. So she wants to go, or he wants to go real far back and before he was born. But do they even have email back in it? I mean, how old is this guy? 2010. 
I guess maybe it was around, but... Still counting Mocha as number five, even though she's gone now. 1993, yeah, I don't think... Not that early. Psycho waves. Daru's really going all out this episode. <laughs> Little history lesson here for the kids. Hey, I'm Celeb 30. Anyone there? Oh, yeah, they all are. What is it? I'm not going to find out this episode, am I? Knew it. Well, okay, I, I like that episode a lot. The most Rukaku we've gotten, if that's the correct name. Um, and so he wants to be a girl, which makes sense for his character. But, I, I mean, it is kind of ridiculous, like to, even if the email works, whatever. Uh, I mean, it's based on faulty science, I would say anyway, that eating more vegetables and meat when you're pregnant will have a girl rather than a boy that sounds like some old wife's tale or something even if it that was true mom gets a page about this years back 17 years ago and does it anyway like that's kind of what i was saying during the episode i don't i don't really know why i mean at least it seems like they're taking for granted that getting a message one day from yourself or whoever it is that you're just gonna follow that. I'm just thinking about myself. I probably wouldn't do, you know, like if I got a message saying, don't do Steins Gate as, a, as your next Anna Monday reaction, I'd be like, like what? What is this about? You know, I, I would do it anyway, probably. Um, but I just don't like people telling me what to do, even myself, or what not to do. Anyway, you get my point there. Still interesting how it's working though, so he, and with Ochre into too, like being the messiah, he can't be the messiah, he's a mad scientist, all this, but it's, he does a lot of posturing about how he's like an evil mad scientist, but really you see how he actually is. Like he's very nice to Rukaku and which, you know, uh, looks like Magus is picking up on and all of that. Pretty funny scene where she realizes <laughs> what's going on here. Now with Moeka, I don't know, I guess she's, she's not out of existence or anything. Um, she just wasn't there now when the world lines shifted again and said she was busy or something. So getting a message, I think, would, from herself saying, don't buy this phone a couple days ago or whatever, whatever happened with that caused her not to show back up to or be as interested in Okran and everything and the, and the IBN or whatever. I don't know. Or who knows what could have happened. I'm sure we'll find out. Um... And then, yeah, trying to figure out what things change. So how the time works on this thing too. At first it seemed like Ruka code didn't show up with the melon after the world line changed, but then we see that he did, but he heard them talking and then left, didn't bring it in. So, but in the, before that happened, he did bring the melon in obviously. Um, so does that mean that he showed up the same time, both times, but now when the world line had changed, the time spent actually going through the experiment and sending the email, picking what to write, all of that didn't happen. So like, let's say that took 20 minutes or whatever. It's still 20 minutes back now because he brought the melon and this time instead of walking in and then they get it, oh, thank you. Then 20 minutes to send this email, whatever the time is, I'm just saying. But this time now he's going there at the same time, but it's, the thing happened, the line shifted and he overhears the conversation. 
if anything I just said makes sense, hopefully it's making sense in my head, but again, always confusing here. But I did feel like this episode was a little more straightforward than some of the stuff we've been getting so far. And it was, a, I guess it was part one, it said, right? So part, I don't see why this is necessarily a part one of two based on any of the other episodes. They all seem to pretty much be flowing together, but whatever it is. I mean, maybe something to do with the title. What was that title again? Chaos Theory Homeostasis. So again, I don't know what that means, really. I mean, I've heard the term chaos theory before, but... Branch of mathematics focusing on the behavior of dynamical systems that are highly sensitive to initial conditions. Chaos is an interdisciplinary theory stating that within the apparent randomness of chaotic complex systems, there are underlying patterns, constant feedback loops, repetition, self-similarity, fractal self-organization, and reliance on programming at the initial point known as sensitive dependence on initial conditions. And then it says something about the butterfly effect, so oh, chaos theory is basically the same as the butterfly effect. It seems to be what this Wikipedia article is saying. Which makes sense. I guess I did kind of know that. So again, like, why is this... The, I mean, some of these episodes don't... They're just putting um, these terminologies and doesn't necessarily... I mean, they all, I guess they could all fit for uh, any of these episodes so far, it, it seems like. So I don't know why this is part one, but I'll find out, I guess, next Anna Monday. Looking forward to it. Please do subscribe to the channel if you like these and you're not already. Hey, even if you don't like them, what, subscribe anyway. Why not? And, uh, you know, give me a comment, tell me what's up, and uh, I'll see y'all back here next time. But time's up for this one. Peace.